In this video, we will dive into the United States $4 billion sixth generation fighter jet. But hold on tight, because it's not just any plane, it's a beast. Something the world has never seen. Now, it's no secret that the United States leads in military spending. But what's catching attention is their next generation air dominance program, or NGAD, flaunting advanced technology like the collaborative combat aircraft and NGAD fighter. So buckle up as we explore this revolutionary military innovation. Watch till the end because we're about to reveal some of its jaw-dropping features you cannot even think exist outside of movies. The U.S.'s NGAD program is all about stepping up the game with new and improved systems. Think better weapons, top-notch sensors, advanced electronic warfare setups, upgraded battle management capabilities, and engines that pack a serious punch. Amazing, right? One of the key players in the NGAD lineup is the Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCA, also known as the Unmanned Wingmen. These CCAs are like sidekicks to manned aircraft, working together to boost the overall fighting capabilities. And let's not forget about the NGAD fighter itself, a sleek high-tech marvel changing the game in aerial combat. With over $4 billion already invested, the U.S. is making big moves. Shifting gears towards finances, the Pentagon's got a lot of money set aside, $850 billion for 2025. A big chunk of that, $815 million, is going towards beefing up the NGAD fighter. That's a huge jump from last year's $276 million. And get this, once this aircraft is ready to fly, it could easily claim the title of the most expensive fighter ever built. But why is there so much money pouring into this project? The NGAD fighter is set to replace the F-22 Raptor, currently the world's most expensive fighter jet. So it's no surprise that the Air Force's funding for the NGAD program has seen a significant increase from around $1.9 billion to nearly $2.75 billion. Looking ahead, they plan to invest another $1 billion over the next five years bringing the total to a whopping $40 billion. That's a lot of money. You might question, where's all that money going? Well, it's mainly going into the NGAD fighter and its trusty sidekicks, the CCA wingmen. These CCAs are like the robotic buddies of the NGAD program. They're equipped with advanced technology like AI, machine learning, and autonomy to assist the manned fighters. From carrying weapons and gathering information to electronic warfare and targeted attacks, these wingmen can handle it all. This teamwork gives a complete battlefield view, allowing for flexible combat strategies from all directions and altitudes. It's a game changer in how missions are planned and carried out, making the Air Force's $6 billion investment in CCAs over the next five years essential. Moving on, the Air Force is getting ready to kick off a competition in 2024 to choose the contractor for the CCAs. We've got some big players in the mix, like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, General Atomics, and Northrop Grumman, and we're expecting a shortlist by the end of the year. Despite that, they're not the only ones in the game. Plenty of other companies are pitching in, working on cool stuff like self-driving systems, sensors, and command systems. The goal? To have a finalized CCA design ready for production by 2028. Here's the thing though, this isn't starting from scratch. We've already laid some solid groundwork with programs like DARPA's Air Combat Evolution and Boeing's MQ-28A Ghost Bat. Skyborg, in particular, is showing some real promise with a hefty $51.7 million budget in 2024 
to integrate its technology into the CCA program. So, progress with these pilotless aircraft is well and truly underway. Once these babies are ready to go, each CCA will cost between $20 million to $40 million, roughly the same as an F-16 Fighting Falcon. However, don't think of them as just throwaway drones. They're built to last. The Air Force is aiming to have around 1,000 CCAs in the fleet, paired up with 500 manned fighters. That means every manned fighter will have two CCAs watching their back. In total, we're looking at a fleet of 300 F-35 Lightning IIs and 200 of the next-gen NGAD aircraft. Now that's called a solid plan. Get ready because the next generation air dominance is about ruling the skies with the next era of planes. To make this happen, a lot of new technologies are needed, like better sensors, engines, and weapons, and they all come together to grab that air superiority. But the real star of the show? That's the NGAD fighter, packing in most of the groundbreaking technology. And what's the end goal? A fighter that's straight out of a sci-fi movie, complete with top-notch stealth. Now let's talk about inspiration. The NGAD fighter takes ideas from stealth aircraft, like the B-2 Spirit, the stealth king of today. It will have a sleek triangular shape, weapons tucked away, and no boring old vertical stabilizers. This new design is a first in fighter jets. You see, vertical stabilizers used to be a must for flying, but the B-2 Spirit shook things up with active flow control. This fancy system uses onboard computers to constantly tweak airflow around the aircraft, keeping it airborne just like how birds do. Another key aspect is open architecture. Over time, the U.S. has learned that even top aircraft can improve, especially as rivals advance. That's why the NGAD fighter will have an open design, making upgrades easy. This flexibility means it can swiftly adapt to new challenges from advancing enemy forces. In short, today's sixth generation NGAD fighter could easily evolve with just a few updates. Pretty neat, huh? And don't forget about staying connected and informed. The NGAD fighter is gearing up to have the most advanced sensors ever seen on a fighter jet. Instead of old radar systems, the Air Force plans to use smart skins integrated into the plane structure. This means data from these sensors can be shared with other planes in the fleet, boosting connectivity across the Air Force. Furthermore, be prepared for a new level of firepower with this upgrade. The NGAD fighter is set to carry a range of weapons, including possible laser-directed energy weapons alongside traditional ones like missiles and bombs. Hold on to your seats, because as we've mentioned earlier, these modern weapons have some jaw-dropping features that are surely going to amaze you. Let's start with laser weapons. They truly are revolutionary. Unlike traditional ammunition, they'd never run out as long as they've got power. That means continuous firepower without the hassle of reloading. And here's the best part. They hit their targets at the speed of light, a whopping 18,000 meters per second. That's the fastest thing out there, making dodging nearly impossible for any target in their sights. But wait, there's more. These lasers can handle a lot of the work on their own, operating autonomously with minimal human control needed. So, the NGAD fighter isn't just about force, it's about smart, cutting-edge technology too. The Air Force is charging ahead with laser technology, led by the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, or SHIELD. This groundbreaking system is a joint effort from defense giants Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin. These aren't just any companies. They were top picks to build the NGAD fighter fleet, However, Northrop Grumman stepped back from competition last year. Now, with Northrop Grumman focused on the U.S. Navy's NGAD program and the advanced B-21 Raider bomber for the Air Force, it raises the question, is it wise to have one company produce both main aircraft, especially with Lockheed Martin, a top fighter producer still in the running? At the moment, Boeing and Lockheed Martin are the main contenders competing for the NGAD fighter contract. The final decision is still pending, 
but a showdown between these industry giants could shape the future of the NGAD program. Meanwhile, tensions worldwide are on the rise, conflicts are brewing, and it feels like more could erupt at any moment. The United States finds itself in the thick of many of these, with rivals becoming bolder. To counter this, a new generation of powerful air systems is stepping onto the scene. Just like a strong family, they aim to stand united and overcome their enemies. The NGAD program shows how America's clever thinking and determination are taking charge of the skies. With its super cool technology, flexible design, and strong weapons, it's going to change how we fight in the air. So what do you think about the future of air battles? Do you feel laser weapons will become the usual thing now? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell so you won't miss out, and subscribe for more interesting stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.